So uh, since we are creating a program for uh, events, let's just name it as Z demo underscore event and press create button. You can name anything starting from Z. Uh, system will pop you for title and the type of the program. Just write any title you like. I will enter demo event and I'll choose executable program. And just save it in the local object uh, because we don't want any request for now to be transported. Now, you are there in the editor. Now, in editor, as you can see, the first executable statement is report. Uh, the statements above report are just the comments as they start from star. So they, they, will, not, they, they will not be executed. So with the report, uh, now what I'm going to tell you is that every single program, whenever it runs, there are few implicit events that are raised. Like initialization is one event which will always be raised. Uh, in, in any program whenever it runs but if you don't mention it in your program that means you you don't mention that you want to write anything you want to do anything so the event the initialization event would be raised implicitly but nothing will happen for that event so there are a couple of uh, events that are already there in in a map editor and they always get called on on the sequence I'll just give you the sequence of all the uh, events uh, uh, I would choose top five events uh, the first event is initialization, add selection screen output, add selection screen, then uh, start of selection, and after that, uh, end of selection. So initialization is the first event that is called in any program. Uh, if you don't mention in your program the word initialization, then it would still be called, but nothing will happen. Or if you just let it be like, let it uh, like this, you have mentioned initialization, but still you have not written, it would make no difference. Uh, but to see what actually happens and what sequence uh, is uh, being used and what events are called when, uh, we'll just write a write statement uh, so as to get an output. We know write statement do a print on the screen. So if I'm writing write initialization, it will give me an output as initialization on my output screen, on my output page. So I'm just writing a write statement after every event call that I have uh, put in my program so as to get to know when and where uh, an event is called. It's a very simple way. I'm, it is my way to, uh, you know, understand what event is called when. So, And of course, one more thing that you should know is that uh, these events are called in this sequence. No matter wherever you write this event, if you have written initialization at the end, then also initialization would be called at the first only. So uh, you you can write initialization anywhere in the program after selection screen output, start of selection, end of selection. But initialization would always be called implicitly at, as the first event. And wherever you have mentioned initialization, the code immediately after that would be called in the program. So uh, having said that, I'm just writing it uh, all over start of selection and end of selection. They are itself, you know, uh, implicitly uh, uh, telling you what they are used for. Initialization, of course, initialization, start of selection, uh, sorry, add selection screen output is of course for, um, you know, something to do with the selection screen. So let's see. So, so, so far we have not created any selection screen. So let's see if, if they will be called or not. I'm just saving it, activate it. Uh, activate and uh, there are no errors pretty good let's just run it and here we get the output three statements initialization start of selection end of selection we haven't get anything from the selection screen events not the selection screen output is raised nor the selection screen is raised and the reason is we don't have any selection screen for now. That means uh, even if you have your events in your uh, program, then also it will not be called until it is implicitly raised, until the condition, uh, which is the standard condition, is there. Or even if you don't have, uh, but the condition is getting fulfilled, it will be raised. So it, it's like um, there are conditions that are set by SAP. So to get these two events also raised, let's just create a selection screen. We know that parameter statement, create, uh, uh, statement creates uh, the input field, uh, which 
uh, is an input for input field for the user and since you are asking for a user you are actually asking for selection and that is called a selection screen by default so parameter statements actually at the back end creates uh, you know uh, a selection screen the screen number will always be 1000 so uh, it, it's like the now the selection screen is created as you can see p underscore first is our selection screen uh, and now if I run what should I get I still get only two uh, you know right statements start of selection end of selection now I have my selection screen also but I cannot see my initialization my selection screen output and add selection screen all these three events does that mean that they are not called no they are actually called because we, we have uh, initialization is a mandatory event it would always be called so it is being called but what wh why I cannot see the right statement is that write statement writes anything as an output but right after that I have called a selection screen so which over, overlaps that write statement so that means that initialization is called but it is not being shown because I have just written a write statement in initialization to understand it more I would just do some you know uh, some default thing in initialization uh, let's just uh, see if we can do uh, let's go back now I would uh, rather want uh, to go to initialization and uh, I would not just want to write a write statement this time I would like to uh, do some sort of default so let's just say p underscore first uh, and default something uh, p underscore first equals to one so now if the initialization is being raised the value of p underscore first would be one let's just see if it is there or not yes it is there what does that mean is that basic function of initialization is not to write anything until you have the screen if you don't have the screen then you can of course use it for that as well but the basic function of initialization is to do the initialization of the fields that you have on such selection screen that means if you want to put anything for default let's say you have a default value that you want to show on a selection screen uh, I mean uh, just like I did this p underscore first screen was there with me I just wanted to uh, have one as a default for the user he can change it and then also do his own stuff so basically initialization is always used to do initialization of all the fields that you have on the selection screen or any screen after that so initialization is clear to us now uh, let's uh, just uh, make another parameter uh, p underscore second and we will uh, we will uh, let it be as a character thing uh, so I'm I, character by is by default so I'll just write hundred hundred so that means it's a character uh, parameter of hundred width now I want to see why my these two events are not called actually the add selections can output event is called but since I have again written write statement this is not being shown so what I'll do is I will write this statement to p underscore second. I can also write p underscore second equals to add selection screen output. Uh, but since I've written already a write, this also means the same. Write add selection screen output to second means p underscore second equals to. So they are both the same thing. So I'm just now activating. And let's see. So p underscore second has a value add selection screen output. Do you, do you see the difference that means that uh, uh, selection screen output is an event which is called right before selection screen it's something uh, right before you have your selection screen now initialization is also before selection screen at selection screen output is also before selection screen then what is the difference between the two so to understand the difference uh, it is about the usage initialization is to initialize the fields add selection skin output is to change the property of the fields for instance if I want to change the property to display um, I don't want I want few fields to be editable and few fields to be in display mode I can do that how to do 
um, you come into the add selection screen output event just write this in your program and there is a inbuilt there is an inbuilt structure called screen this is always going to be there in any program so you just have to loop it loop at selection screen loop at screen is a loop that uh, that is put on uh, internal structure uh, internal table that will always be there whenever you have a selection screen so if i say loop on that structure loop at screen and screen input as nothing and just modify screen so ultimately if you understand what i'm doing it is that i'm saying uh, that whatever value is there for any field the property input of that field should be display so the property input means uh, that i don't want it to be input enable if i want it to be input enable i would say input equals to x this is something that we will again understand moving forward but let's just see that what is the output this this session is to explain you about the events not to uh, explain you about the loops so uh, now you can see that these two fields are in display mode but i'm not using it because this this is a irrelevant thing i just wanted to show you why uh, we use the selection screen output